one guy, he's in a sleeper cab. He's a, not the truck in front of me, but the truck in front of him. He gets out and stands on the side of his truck and starts pissing. And then he looks back at me. He's looking back. And then he starts stroking his dick. Hello? Highway journey in the building. Long time Hi. no hear from. I'm sorry. I said long time no hear from. Yeah, I know. How's it going? How, how's it been? Great. <laughs> nice roller coaster ride. Okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so before we get into it, man, what, what, what you been doing? Like, when we first talked about, you know, make, what was that, about a year ago, give or take? Over a year ago, yeah. Now, back then, you you was a bus driver, right, if I'm not mistaken? No, no, no. Um, I was on an operator. Oh, you was? Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, what happened with that other than sky I mean, sky skyrocketing fuel and all that other stuff. What what happened? What happened with that? You know, for me, it was just too many hands in the pocket. You know, a, a lot of giving out, not enough taking in, and. You know, I was with uh, Landstar, which is a great company, but um, just in the end, you know, I'm, I needed benefits, I needed health care, and I felt like if I'm going to be out here doing it, somebody going to need to take care of me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be taking care of everybody else. Me being in this industry and, you know, driving this big truck and Oh, it's just dangerous out here. I'm like, dude, I need some cushion if I fall, you know? Do you do you feel that uh, since a lot of people want to hurry up and jump into owner operating, leasing, and all like that, do you think do do you think they 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 don't understand how important it is to get, you know, to get benefits and make sure that you taking care of yourself out here? Well, to each his own, you know, uh, my situation is a little different because, you know, Ooh, talk, I didn't talk, start talk, driving. Talk, talk, I was talk into your phone. I can barely hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, my situation is that, you know, I didn't start driving until I was 40. So, you know, 40 is at that age. You need those benefits. You need that pushing, you know, because be at that age, you just never know what can happen. And um, that was the most important thing for me. So, I mean, but to each his own, you know, people have different situations. You feel like you want to get out here and get you a truck, go ahead and do it. Try it out if you don't work. Always have something else planned. Um, but to each his own, do what you want to do. Right, right, right. So, Highway, you migrated over to the great place of Walmart. How did uh, how how did you manage to 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 get with one of the uh, well, what some truckers call the premier trucking company, but they have one of the strictest onboarding ever. So. Take us back to how, how take us back to how you <laughs> you you uh you found Walmart and how the onboarding process was for you. Well, you know, Walmart is everywhere. So I've always had my eye on Walmart since the beginning of trucking. So, you know, you gather your research. I know you had to have some time in the game before you came over here. So it was always in my back pocket, you know, keep your record clean, keep your license 
clean, keep your system clean, keep your head on straight, you can get in here. Um, onboarding is just like the first day of truck driving school, to be honest. But if you've already been through those motions, it's not hard to jump back. It's like riding a bike. I don't care if you ain't rode a bike in 20 years. It might wobble a little bit, but you got it. <laughs> you know, you straighten up that bike. So it was kind of like the same thing, but I was amazed because it was about a little under 30 people in our class when they had to divide us into two groups. And let's just say half of it, those two classes made it. So we came out about 15, 16 as uh, the week finished. Um, so, I mean, we had to do a pre uh, intense pre-trip, truck and trailer, um, driving, uh, and back. So by the Thursday was, you got in there on Monday, Thursday was the final test, and if you didn't pass on Thursday, you had a choice, two choices, either you went to finishing school, which was the next week, or you could come back Friday and take the test over again, but if you failed on Friday, I think you couldn't reapply for three, six months again. So the people who went to finish this school, people who chose that option usually, you know, had a job by the end of the next week. So, but so how I didn't have to do any of that. So how many people? Go ahead. How many people during your class got bounced out because of a uh, because of a bad uh, drug test? Now, that I don't know. Um, I have no idea, but everybody in our class is there for the whole week. So I have no idea about that part. Everybody who was in our class was just based off of if you passed, passed at the end of the week or not. Okay, 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 okay. Walmart. I, I mean Operation uh, Operation Walmart and 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 you got uniforms now and all that good stuff with the great benefits and everything. Uh, since your tenure with Walmart, uh, how how how's it been going for you so far? I like to say it's the best trucking job I've had this far um it's really laid back yeah it's intense getting in here but you know i keep I, i'm from a smaller dc i'm out of uh green castle indiana which is a small dc and that helps a lot um the bigger dcs you got more eyes on you you got more people on the inside you know you got four drivers who just like to nitpick about everything. And, you know, I was able to kind of dodge that by picking the DC that I did. But like I said, it's the best job, trucking job that I've had. So now, with, they don't bother me. Either. Now with Walmart, of course, you can't take the truck home. So you, you're you out, you're, you're out of that. So you live in the area where, where your DC is at? Yeah, I'm about an hour away. Okay. I picked the DC that that was closest to me because there are two other DCs, but and the mileage was not really a, that far off. One that I picked. I felt like let me see which one's gonna get me home quicker when it's time to go home. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. So hello. A lot. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay. A lot of a, a lot of uh people, you know, that driven uh, that drove for Walmart and a lot of people that you know have, have driven for Walmart, you know, of course they feel some kind of way about, you know, their policies. 
Now I know for I know from other drivers that their policies on their phones has changed. Um, with that said, what are some of Walmart strict policies that that you know that OTR drivers coming from OTR over to Walmart? Which which are the policies that they're gonna have to get used to? Well, um, they don't really want you touching your phone while you're driving. So you can talk on the phone. Um, there's just times that where they don't want you talking on the phone, and it's like in construction zones is a no-no. You know, if the traffic is, like, crazy, they don't really want you to be on your phone. And, um, you know, texting and driving is out. Not, e- not even talk to text. They don't want you doing that either. So you can't talk on the phone. So, and then as far as like listening to your podcast, stuff like that, uh, talk to your safety manager about that. <laughs> that's where I was directed to. So that's all I'm going to say. Now, what about uh, now? So, of course, you know, companies are getting a little bit more stricter now with their electronic devices, not just cell phones, but GoPros, cameras, and all like that. How what's Walmart's stance on that? Like I, you know, I've seen a few Walmart drivers make, you know, make social media videos about the company and all like that, but of course. You know they're not doing the 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 driving and talking deal or right. anything like that. You know they're pretty much you know sitting down. There's a popular TikToker. His name is Max. Uh, he does all his videos you know from the house or whatever the case. But what is what is right. Walmart? What is Walmart's stance on 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 social on on drivers that you know that be on social media a lot? And their electronic uh, camera stands. To be honest, I really don't know because I never plan to do social media, you know, with this company or any. But I really don't know. But I think the way that the guys that are doing it, that work for Walmart, are doing it the correct way. Like, I know there's a guy, I forgot his name, he out of Cali. Like, he'll do his videos on his break and his dirt in the truck and stuff like that but um i haven't seen him like outside of the truck with the camera and all of that so i think just just want to be as safe as possible the guy doing it from home that's smart that's safe that's not going to get them in any trouble so i think that's safe but as far as having your camera up and probably doing a little bit too much i think that may eventually get you into hot water so you just got to be grown up about it. Exactly. Exactly. All right. All right. So before we get up out of here and, you know, I, I know you're busy and thank you for your time. But listen, you made a video. <laughs> you made a video. You 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 was in the D.C. line waiting for, you know, waiting just like all of us truck drivers do when we get to a DC and we got to wait in the long ass line because they got the same <laughs> appointment. It's crazy. I don't get it. I get right. there at one o'clock and everybody got the same appointment. So that's, that's, that's Walmart for you, but you, <laughs> you're in line and you see something crazy going on. Take us back to what happened that day. The things you see in trucking. So, I'm here in line and I think I'm picking up popcorn. And I'm in um, Lebanon, Indiana. And there is a line. So, we got to wait. And one guy, he's in a sleeper cab. He's a, not the truck in front of me, but the truck in front of him. He gets out and stands on the side of his truck and starts pissing. And then he looks back at me. He's looking back. And then he starts stroking his dick. 
like I've seen a man piss before and I know that y'all shake it and put it back you know but he's like stroking his nasty little dingling and looking back at me he's on an operator there's no name on the side of his truck but you know today that's a form of sexual harassment and it's disgusting like I know you got a bottle in your truck that you can piss in you didn't have to stand out on the side of your truck like some heathen and do that have a good evening Well, it was yesterday, and I wasn't at a DC. I was at a shipper. I was picking up. They said it was just popcorn. It's real light. I still have it. And, you know, we sitting in the line. Not the truck in front of me, but the truck in front of him. You know, I'm just sitting there, and I see him. He gets out, stands on the side of his truck, and he starts to piss. I'm like, you doing that right, and you know, it was hot as hell yesterday, too. I'm like, you can be more discreet about doing that. Couldn't go on the side so, of the truck or behind the truck or in yeah, between the I truck mean, and trailer. You know, you, you just decide to get out right there and, and just let it all out. I'm understanding. I know that's what guys do, but it's a way to do it. I've seen guys do it on the side of the highway, but they're not exposing themselves and turn towards the traffic. You know, they got their back turn. We know what they're doing, but that's, you know, that's not a big deal. But, but this man do something standing. crazy, though, when he sees you. Yeah, he's, he's literally standing on the side of the truck. Now, I've seen a man take a piss before. I know that y'all shake y'all thing, you know, get the excess urine off and put it back in your pan. Well, he don't do that. He does more in his first he shape, and then he starts to jack it off. And I'm just looking at him, and he's looking back at me. And I'm like, I wanted to tell on him so bad, but I'm like, well, why? Why? Because he's trifling. He don't he do that stuff, but it was really disrespectful. And he's just a trifling dude, you know. So, but yeah, he he was stroking. I know the difference between a shake and a stroke. Wow, that, that's crazy. That 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 is this, you know, lightweight. That, well, that ain't even lightweight. That is disrespectful. I mean, he's. I mean, he's like dead. Dead looking at you while jacking off at the same time. I mean, yeah. I mean that's yeah. Then at the, I guess at the, he got he, finished. I, I guess in his mind, like, oh, okay, well, I got an audience right here, so let me go ahead and 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 show off. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's not cool, bro. That 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 is not cool. In the back of your mind, while you sitting what? in your truck, you you sitting there looking at it like. <laughs> you know what I was nasty mother you know like what you're doing is already nasty but you had to take it a step further and be disgusted and disrespectful well I you know I, I'm I'm sorry that you have to that, that you had to see that highway journey man that wasn't that that wasn't even cool, and and being a fellow truck driver, that's you know that, that's that's holier than than this the disrespect. In your opinion, Highway, there's for as long as you've been out here, there's really haven't been no 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 union amongst truckers anyway. I mean, I mean, all of us truckers is 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 like what Trucker Brown said. We're a lot of us is toxic, and oh, I, you know I I don't understand the reason why, but we they just are they they just very toxic. Why why do you think drivers had had you know now that it's twenty twenty two? Why do you think drivers is so toxic in these days now? 
Well, it's not just drivers. It's a lot of people that are toxic. So it just spills over into different genres. I'm pretty sure all the topic that they have to look at every day and just cause problems. It ain't no different out here, you know? I was listening to a story yesterday about some guy who worked in the office and kept having this man piss on his desk. So it's the same thing. <laughs> wow. People are just toxic. Wow. And, you know, it's not everybody's not like it. You got to pick accordingly. Like, not every man is going to do that. Like, I'm pretty sure he had something in his truck. He was on the sleeper. So I'm pretty sure he had something in his truck where he could have just urinated in a bottle or something, but he chose to be a thug and be trifling and just do it right there. You know, no wonder you can't just park anywhere. I I, I don't care that these people be like, nope, you can't park here because I know why. Because of people like him. You know, he's he'll be the same one that leave his piss bottles out, piss bags out. He'll, he'll do the same thing, so well, you know, you just part, mentioned part of the game. You 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 just mentioned an important part of uh, uh of trucking, and that's and that's parking. And I just spoke on I, I just spoke on Walmart because somebody uh did a TikTok video saying that they was in a Walmart parking lot and the security came over and bothered them and told them that they can't stay in a parking lot and this, that, and the third. And we knew, you know, from at one time or another that Walmart was a place for truckers to, you know, to park. But now, you know, Walmart uh, don't allow some or some Walmarts, I should say, don't even allow bobtails in their parking lots no more. Um, yeah. Wolf that. Some of them are really strict. I've, I've been tonight at some Walmarts where, you know, only Walmart trucks are allowed and they do have security on the premises. So I've seen it. And then, like, the one that I'm at now, it, it had signs up, but I pulled in last night. It was more than just Walmart trucks here. And once I woke up, they were all gone. And I don't see no trash nowhere. It's a couple of them here now stopping in one they went to the restaurant across the street so it's just all about respect if you respect your spot then you can stay here and just be gone after the 10 hour break and don't be camping out and all that stuff leaving your trash but what but about but what is places, it true those places those places are like that because somebody done messed it up is it true? Uh, is it is it a true statement that I said that uh, that uh, some WalMarts are on properties that don't even belong to them? They own the building, but they don't own the property. Am Am I safe to say that? Yes. Yes, that's correct. That's what I thought. And then you know, the uh, some a lot of times the city owns the property, and the city don't want you there. There's a lot, it's places that we can't park that are a Walmart or a Sam's Club, but you know our uh, our system tells us that it'll tell you where you can and cannot break. So it's it's a, it's still places we can't can't just post up anywhere to be like no can't stay there. What well, even for a Walmart driver, y'all y'all can't stay on the on the Walmart yeah. pro- uh, or or on the property that the Walmart is on. Correct. Wow. It's usually a city ordinance, or it may not be a safe area, but it will say that too. It'll be like park at your own risk, <laughs> which means okay, you park here. You know, you uh, expect anything to happen, so. But they do make us aware of those things. Those are in our notes, you know, when we go to a certain D.C. And then, you know, if we're driving along the way and, um, you know, don't make it to our destination, we can just put in the nearest Walmart where we can break at, and then it'll come up and tell us what's along the way. So that's very helpful. All right, all right. Highway journey. Thank you very much, ma'am, for coming on. I really do appreciate it. 
I'm on the Lockout Man podcast for the best conversation happening over here. That is what's up, guys. Y'all heard that from Highway Journey. Thank you very much, ma'am. If you guys want to jump on with me, you know what to do. 216-600-2090. And on that note, me and Highway Journey, we are out of here. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, class kids, it went pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, got bars, you got pops. Merge right into Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom to me, but go off. Or make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rum, pum, pum. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.